What's good, everybody? My name is Chef Tiana G. I'm here with Obizi, and we're bringing presidential bites to the Cocoa Butter Channel. First of all, let's talk about how Obama was the swaggiest president we have ever seen, right? I'm talking about from the way he dressed, to the music he listened to, to the food he ate. So that's why this recipe that I'm recreating is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be recreating a dish made by my mentor, Marcus Samuelson, that Obama had during his presidency. Obviously, we all love Obama. We're going through this whole thing right now with- I don't even wanna speak on that, but make sure you guys vote. Your voice counts. But on a lighter note, this recipe we're about to get into is amazing. So for the ingredients today, we're gonna be using some boneless short rib. You guys can use English cut or flanking cut. Feel how you feel, do what you gotta do. Then we're gonna be using mirepoix, which is carrots, onions, and celery. For the aromatics today, I have ginger, garlic, lemongrass, bay leaf, thyme, and parsley. And we'll also have a little bit of fresh horseradish. For the braising liquid, we're gonna be using beef stock, red wine, soy sauce, and plum sauce. All right, you guys, so now that we have went over the ingredients, we're gonna start by taking our short ribs and patting them so they're dry, because if we don't dry them, then they're gonna hit the pan and they're gonna be wet and they're gonna stick to the bottom and we don't want that at all. So just lightly pat the short ribs. Once we do that, we're gonna season them very generously with some salt and pepper on both sides. When I say generous, I mean generous. We season things over here, all right? I have my cast iron getting hot over here, so that's gonna be ripping hot when we add the short ribs. I'm gonna add some fresh cracked pepper. Always fresh. Don't use the ground pepper, please. Just don't do that. Once they're seasoned, I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil into my pot. And you wanna see it shimmer like that. You wanna make sure the pot is really hot because what we're doing right now is we're browning the short ribs. This is a key essential step in cooking these obesey short ribs, presidential level here, okay? Make sure you guys take the time to do the steps correctly. And I don't wanna overcrowd the pan right away, so I'm doing maybe like five at a time. They're gonna cook like two minutes on each side and then we're gonna flip them over. Smells great in here so far. So once I see a little bit of browning, I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. You don't wanna cook them through, you just wanna make sure you develop a crust on each side. So pretty much what we're doing is developing what we call fond, which is the good bits that get stuck to the bottom of the pan. And when we deglaze it, that's what's gonna help build this amazing flavor. So, not too long on each side, maybe like two minutes. And then once you get a nice browning on all of the sides, you wanna transfer it over into like a sheet tray, but I'm using this pan because I wanna save the drippings in the blood. I'm gonna add that into the sauce that we make. It's gonna be really, 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 really good. So now I'm adding the rest of the short ribs. And if you guys have any pieces with fat on them, make sure you guys sear with the fat side down so you render all that fat out. Honestly, just gonna throw them all in there at this point, these pieces. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil to this. All right, y'all, so now that we have browned our short ribs, I'm gonna add our onions to this pot. Gonna sweat these down a little bit. I wanna make sure that I'm like scraping the bottom of the pot. Sometimes it'll help if you have a towel to hold the pot so you're not like burning your hands. So as you see, the fawn has lightly colored the onions. They look a little bit brown, like they've been sitting in this pot for a while, but that's just the flavor from the fawn releasing into the onions. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the celery and the carrots at the same time because we don't have any time to waste. We're trying to eat some short ribs. So mix it up. Make sure you guys scrape down the sides. I personally like to add my herbs in with my mirepoix. Some people like to add it in when, they're, when they add the liquid, but I like to make sure I cook off a little bit of the thyme 
with the mirepoix because it brings a nice flavor to it versus just having it in there by itself. So I'm just gonna sprig a few thyme leaves into our mix here and mix it up, make it super aromatic. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add the garlic inside the pot. So garlic goes in, it's going down. So the garlic is in here. My mouth is salivating. I'm going to add our ginger next, fresh ginger. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add our lemongrass. So lemongrass is kind of intimidating to work with sometimes because people think it's like, how am I supposed to use this? But if you use this, you guys wanna make sure you guys beat it up really, really well to break the fibers down before you guys chop it. And it's gonna be amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the lemongrass in now. My baby hairs are sweating. We need to brush them edges back one more time. All right, so now we're gonna deglaze the pan with red wine. If you guys are cooking over open fire, you guys wanna make sure that the flame is low before you guys add the wine because then goes your edges and your eyelashes and your baby hairs and all that stuff. You wanna catch on fire. So add the wine, cook it down for about two minutes, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. And then I'm gonna add our stock. In goes the soy sauce. Soy sauce. And then the key secret ingredient, plum sauce. Y'all don't know what I went through to get this plum sauce, all right. This is, this is really gonna make or break this dish. So plum sauce goes in. I'm gonna mix it up. And then I'm gonna add the short ribs back to the braising liquid. So you wanna just nestle everything in here, get them close together. One happy short rib family. The short ribs are in the braising liquid. I'm gonna add the blood from the short ribs. Don't forget to do that. I know that sounds crazy, add the blood, but trust me, that's fire. It's gonna be great. So now is a good time for me to add a few sprigs of parsley. So now after I add the aromatics to the top, I'm gonna pop the lid on and then I'm gonna cook it for about an hour till it gets tender. You wanna make sure when you stick a fork in there, it falls apart. That's gonna be amazing. So now that it's bubbling, the short ribs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the bay leaf inside here. And now I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 325 degrees for about an hour, which gives you the perfect amount of time to get up and go vote. All right guys, now that I just came back from voting and skimming my short ribs, I am going to check my short ribs out while they were in the oven, I skimmed all the fat off of them. And as you can see, the short ribs are so tender and so juicy. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to take some of the veggies and the braising liquid and I'm gonna pop it into a blender. And make sure you guys get all of that mirepoix that has cooked down and it's nice and translucent. We're gonna blend about half of this and then we're gonna add it back into the pot. What this is gonna do is thicken up our sauce. And at this point, honestly, you can go ahead and take the bay leaves out. So I'm going to pop this on. Make sure you guys put the lid on it because this is hot liquid. I don't want you guys to make a mess or accidentally burn yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and pulse this. And then I'm going to transfer what we pulsed into the pot. So it's gonna thicken up the sauce. I'm gonna give it a mix. It'll be okay. I'm hungry. I'm trying to get all my presidency swag. I'm trying to be visualizing myself in the White House. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. I have my bowls here and I'm gonna grab a few short ribs. Okay. Next, I am going to ladle some of the braising liquid in here. So it's gonna be kind of like a soup. We have like this braised, beautiful short rib stew. So now that the ribs and the stew are in the bowl, I'm just gonna chop up some fresh parsley. 
doesn't have to be too fine, nothing too crazy. Just chop it down and add a little bit of fresh parsley on top. A few little leaves of thyme because we love it. And then I'm gonna take our horseradish. I'm gonna shave it down just a little bit. And this is really what's gonna set off our beautiful short ribs. So I'm gonna add a little bit of horseradish right on top. And cracked pepper just for funsies. A little pinch of salt. And there we have it. Obesi short ribs. So Chef Breezy is actually gonna come over here and taste these Obesi short ribs just because that works perfectly, right? So, hi everyone, I'm Chef Breezy from the Tasty Kitchen. I am super excited. This smells phenomenal. T did her thing with this recipe, so I'm just gonna dive right in. Mmm, yeah. See, if Goldilocks had this as her first bowl, there would have been no need to go searching for more. I see why my mans back here love this dish so much after just two bites. I feel so special right now. Like, this is the type of bowl, like, this is a treat yourself meal and I feel very treated. I'm feeling special. I'm feeling like Michelle's about to come out and hand me a napkin and just yes, help me pat down because my mouth is just salivating with each bite of this, seriously. Bravo, bravo. Kudos to you, my man. Thank you, Chef T, for preparing oh. this. Thank you, Obezi, for the recommendation. I'm gonna go find a corner and go enjoy the rest of this and go make sure I'm registered. All right, y'all, Breezy's at it, bang it. I'm telling you right now, Bang it. Make sure you guys tune in next time for some more presidential bites. And don't forget to vote in that song period. People say that, right? <laughs>